and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ender Aggro. We're going to be playing uh, this deck. We're going to be trying Sejuani instead of Elise, where Sejuani, you know, has that Frostbite, that Vulnerable, gets the Overwhelm damage in. Um, as we talked about last time, we had three Fury of the North and two Neverglade Collector, and the, the three Fury of the North was, was pretty awkward in hand. Um, a lot of times like we draw like multiples and just didn't have enough bodies out there so we're going with a third neverglade collector instead of that also i'm just not that big of a fan of haunted relic i understand that it can do some some neat little things it can level up a callista by itself and it's uh, pretty nice for blockers with neverglade collector and it helps out they who endure so it does it does some good stuff i don't like really dislike it but i think playing one vengeance would be stronger because with this metagame, there's just so much Sejuani everywhere, and having a nice, clean answer to Sejuani is very important. Plus, there's a whole bunch of They Who Endure, and then other big things like uh, Leviathan and things like that. And I just think that having a Vengeance can go a long way. So I'm taking out the Haunted Relic for a Vengeance. And then finally, since we're taking out Elise, we're gonna also take. We're then gonna take out Omen Hawk because a big power of Omen Hawk is having Omen Hawk on one and then Elise on two. Because uh, I'm a big fan of Warden's Prey, and so we're going to try Warden's Prey in here, especially with, with getting rid of the 2-drop with Elise, that sometimes we, we may need another uh, low-cost unit, and just more more low-cost units, and Warden's Prey helps us do that with getting the Last Breath Follower. Um, you know, there's 10, 10 Last Breath Followers you can get, and basically all of them are good for our deck. So we're going to be uh, playing the Warden's Prey here. All right, so let's let's give this version of Endure Aggro a try. Um, we're rank up Sunday. We're going over, playing five games over in ranked, which is what we always do. But we're playing some more meta decks today. And then, um, so far, so good with Midrange Frostbite and Spider Lux. They both looked great. And then we'll be playing Plunder Control, uh, which is basically the Ezreal Twisted Fate deck, just taking out Ezreal and putting in Gangplank. I think Gangplank's better than Ezreal. <clears throat> yeah, Hecarim... You can definitely play Hecarim in this kind of deck. I've seen Hecarim do some good work. I like... I think I'd rather... If you're playing Hecarim, I think you go back to playing Omenhawk. Because if you can have Omenhawk hit Hecarim, that's a big deal of making Hecarim a 6-6. All right, so we'll see. We have Vengeance instead of Haunted Relic. We'll see how that works out for us. Good test right off the bat of mid-range Frostbite. Obviously, we don't love this atrocity. the worst card in the hand right now and, and it's also just not a good card in this matchup against like when they have like harsh winds and stuff to respond like that with atrocity so don't love having that card blighted caretaker though is probably our best card to draw because we can have we have the attack token on turn three so we get that combo of keeper on two caretaker on three wonderful combo and we get to take out multiple bodies with it I know if we if we didn't have the attack token on turn three, we'd be playing Callista on three, and then we'd be going with the caretaker on four, but with having the attack token now. I'm just going with this. Oh uh, what what's the eight mana trundle spell? Which one? Victory requires a sharp blade. The one the the ice pillar? Is that the one you mean? Line up. Ooh. Okay, not ice pillar. Okay, I was gonna say yeah, because I was gonna say that one. You know, kind of fairly obvious how it just refills your your mana, so it just works out well in that respect. Thank you. 
Okay, the champion spell. What's okay? I guess I don't know what the champion spell is. Is it? Is the champion spell the three damage thing? The deal three damage to stuff. Take the damage. Take the damage. Maximus! Thank you, Maximus. Many tribes under one banner. Our fifth sub of the day. We're gonna have some bonus stream. Awesome, thank you, Maximus. For the bonus stream, we're gonna we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow. I have to go right after stream. My my friend is having a baby shower. Uh, let's see. This is where I'm supposed to not play the Curse Keeper and keep seven mana open to kill the Sejuani, because that was like the whole point of my vengeance. But I played the Curse Keeper. Our vengeance has burned long enough. Act now. See me or later. Usually, with the, so with the bonus stream, uh, basically I just continue streaming for another 30 minutes, half hour. We'll play another like three to five games. Um, with just, you know, another random deck we just play afterwards. And that's what we do for hitting the five sub. So we'll have that tomorrow. Thank you so much, Maximus. He says, love being here. Thanks for your entertaining streams. That's very kind. Core deck, don't do that. Don't do that to me, Core deck. Ooh, got lucky. Core deck said they're said reckoning on coming. Why? Why would it be obvious? I mean, they just because they didn't attack into letting me have blockers with Neverglade Collector. Like, why would it? Bow to no one. Why would you say that? Like it wasn't a good attack for them with the other things. A chill in the air. Yeah, so I, I don't think that was weird that they didn't attack with the rest because of my Neverglade Collector. Um come, come this way. Maybe I just have my, the Sejuani challenge the Babbling Bjerg. If it's a fight they want. Just tackle these other four. Let's see what you've got. I guess the Sejuani could attack anyway, because it can't. It was gonna, what going to turn to a one seven? No, it just shouldn't attack. Oh, okay. we already dealt damage, right? Because we played the other thing. All right, never mind. Never mind, I'll go crazy. Warren's Prey is better than... Omen Hawk right here. We're at three out of five. Vengeance looks pretty good. Killing this thing before it tells me that I can't block. You fought well. 
And no, we don't really want to atrocity. Uh, because of harsh winds. We're at two out of five. Survivors. Yeah, Neverglade with Sejuani is a pretty cool combo. Oh no! Now that's a problem. Everyone's a garden. Look at this being better than Omen Hawk. Dying. I definitely want to keep atrocity available. A true Fragorian welcome. Okay, we don't need to keep atrocity available. Our strength is yours. That's the last Brittle Steel, so we know they don't have any more of those, which is good for the Atrocity. So they're, they're out of Brittle Steel. So I can I can sacrifice the Undying just as easily as sacrifice Sejuani. There we go. GG's. Fight for your lives. That vengeance was pretty awesome, killing the Ash and allowing me to block. All right. One and O. Oh. Yeah, if we weren't able to kill that Ash, they would have killed me pretty quickly. Alright, going deep. This could be another really good vengeance matchup against like a Nautilus. Um this hand looks good. So we'll have like turn one's like Warden Spray. And then turn two, Bark B, Spark Beast, you know, like whatever version we want. We got those three for the first two turns, and then we can Caretaker the Warden's Prey and turn the Bark Beast into three threes. The chains, they never stop! I gotta get out of here! I am attacking while I can before they play a 1-4. If we draw something else to play, I could maybe wait till my... Uh, well, if this was a lease, we'd be able to play a lease. Obviously, it would be nice to wait till my turn to play the Caretaker. If possible. Who's on top of the bounty board today? Rude. Thank you. 
Everyone's a garden. Warren spray looking pretty good. Yeah, basically play that now so that to turn the Bark Beast into 3-3, otherwise they would have just killed the Bark Beast very easily. Opening hand for them. Got some good defense here, and then Maokai. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's the dog sharpening her nails on the carpet. So Thresh gone this turn, hopefully Maokai gone at next turn. With Sejuani challenging Maokai. Two champions down. You gotta think they're playing three Nautilus, right? Like that's gotta be the three of. So probably just two two Maokai, one Thrash. So probably just one other Maokai. No. So my point was that it's not likely they have another Maokai. But I guess they have this call. Three mana Maokai. Broken. They're still at 16. I had a great start. For how my from what my cards were, they lined up really well. Me, coward. I guess maybe caretake earring on turn three could definitely have been a mistake. And not waiting until turn four.
guess I should have gone with Callista. So I'm expecting vengeance for Sejuani with that block. Beyond Vengeance, another Sejuani. Mm. Glimpse Beyond would be nice with getting, you know, drawing lots of cards, getting these Neverglades and stuff like that. Taking their time. If they for some reason pass to me, I'm I'm just going to attacks. I love their cast ruination. They're so small, but she ain't lacking courage. Nope. These old eyes still see far and clear. Now uh, both Nautilus de dead. Or sorry, not Nautilus. Sorry, Neverglade. Both Neverglade dead. So many arrows and sentries. Sentry is not a bad card, but not at this point of the game. All they need to do is play any unit, which we know they have Sea Monster in hand from Jaw Hunters. And now they're going to be deep. Next turn. They're out there. I'll spot them. centuries. Arises. 
escapes my watch. Flooding gets golden glory. Go and harvest him. What? Why are they challenging the 4-3? The only thing they can block Nautilus. There you go. Just 19. Alright, come on, they who endure. They who endure. Hmm. You're too late, Vengeance. You're too late. Beyond. All these cards are too late. All right, one on one. Get the mirror match with them having Elise and me having Sejuani. Glimpse Beyond is like the the one questionable one that maybe we should mulligan. But after playing that last game where we had nothing to do for a long time. Them having the answers for my really fast early game that I kept. Now I want to keep Glimpse Beyond. The chains, they never stop! All right, more sentries. All right, so we're going with Curse Keeper and the Bark Beast. So we get a whole bunch of three power things to kind of match their Callista. I'm not attacking, because if I just attack out, they can trade two things and have their Callista be at two out of three as far as level up goes. Um, and of course, we want to trade things off whenever our Callista is in play. All right, so now we don't have that option of waiting. Or do we? Nope. Probably just do one trade, take three. The Fury of the North? What's going on over there? 
I think my plan is Callista and Warden's Prey over Double Sentry. And then probably Neverglade Collector next turn. So I'm just not playing these sentries. Callista this turn, Neverglade next turn, and Sejuani the turn after. End turn? Kind of feel like ending turn right back. So it does seem like they have Fury of the North. That's one thing that they got. Dang. Killed Neverglade. It's definitely hoping they were going to kill Sejuani, not Neverglade. That was a good play. Two things dying for Callista. Shark Chariot. <clears throat> Shark Chariot can die for Callista. We're the we're the person with more units right now and, and you know like we also still have Warden's Prey, we have Avros and Sentries. I wanna just try to keep forcing trades because of that. Now this could work out poorly for me if they have they who endure, that we have all these trades. And then they just have a really large they who endure that could work out poorly. You do have earned your fate. Would like to draw my vengeance in case of that. No, 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 no. Oh, 
So that's obviously the, the scariest card at this point of the game. It's one thing that we haven't done. We're playing we're playing three They Who Endure. This is our third game. We've drawn what one total They Who Endure? We really haven't seen that card at all. No, we just we just have not seen this card at all. They're out there. I'll spot them. Keeping one spell mana in case uh, I need to keep more spell mana. Show them our teeth. GG's. They left me alive. That was a mistake. It was a good challenge on the Neverglade Collector. But yeah, Endure. Um, you know, it's the it's the name of our deck. That card's awesome. That's gonna win the mirror for sure. Like, besides that card, as you can tell, we had a lot. You know, we had a lot more cards. We were gonna be able to keep going. Like, we we had a good hand. Um, and we're in a good position, but that doesn't really matter when you have a 13-13 Overwhelm or whatever that thing was. Or 15-15 Overwhelm or whatever it was. I think it was 13. Like that just is too big. Yeah, I, I would probably keep a They Who Endure in the opening hand in the mirror match. Yeah, because that's what it's going to come down to. Because they, they're not really playing removal for your They Who Endure either. So yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind keeping that card. Um, okay, Warden's Prey gone. Uh, so we're going to... We have... The, so this time, I'm, I'm not going to... You're not going to use the Caretaker on my non-attack turn again. This time... We do have the attack token on turn three. I want to have Bark Beast to keep her with Caretaker. Now we'll see if they don't... I may not actually go Caretaker. We'll kind of see what they have. Um... I was going to say, I could just go Butcher. Also, Yeah, it does make Overwhelm really strong, how there's only one creature that can block. You know, yeah, I would have loved to block with everything. That last turn. I'll just save Butcher. If I would kill, if I do the Butcher there, yeah, we'll, we'll just save the Butcher. We'll just save the Butcher. Cool. I can go Warden's Prey, Butcher. Let's see what we want to do. The Isles will bloom again. What does he want from me? Let's see what we get here. Do I want to do that after Neverglade? Maybe. Maybe. But 
The thing about doing that first is that I would have had... Um, I would have had the ability to play that last breath unit with this extra mana. A good one to have. They're basically all good ones to have. And it doesn't really matter what order I attack in. I know I'm risking never great collector. But I just want to get the damage in. It doesn't really matter which order because um, they have enough life to gain. All right, Hungarian crab. We'll be we'll be switching over to Bailey after this game. Opponents have been taking a while last few games. There we go. Who's on top of the bounty board today? Pretty awkward hand. I guess we're going vengeance on Thresh. He's gonna challenge Neverglade Collector. And then uh we untap and we go because yeah, like they'll be able to challenge these fairly well. We untap in Sejuani the Wanderer or Maokai? Maybe this Wanderer. This Wanderer is kind of killing me. Red minion guy after Bailey. Is it weird to do the Wanderer instead of Maokai? It probably is. Yeah. It is. From the savage cold. We gotta do Maokai. This Wanderer certainly hurt. Survive! 
I don't really have a favorite food. I'm somebody who honestly just really appreciates all sorts of uh, different food, and I don't really have any that's that's a specific favorite. I I like basically everything. Yeah, I'm really easy going. I like everything. Flooding gets golden glory. Life's so much more difficult when you never have they who endure ever. <laughs> right? Like we've seen it one time in five four games. We never have this garden. We never have that card. Set the hook. I refuse to wilt. So if I just play Collector and nothing else, we can War Mother's Call this next turn? If I don't play Callista? That seems exciting. I'm all for exciting. Let's do it. <laughs> War Mother's Call Endure. I was going to say, this is when we finally draw Endure. And so then we don't play because we're playing War Mother's Call. See, Omen Hawk can't get you War Mother's Call. No. Never mind, War Mother's Call not as good. Well, you never know. Maybe we hit Endure that maybe wins or something. Nah, just 12-12. That will not be large enough. Not right now. We may have atrocity on top that we draw. Alright, now we draw atrocity. There we go. We want this card to be... Uh, could be a win. Let's say we want that card to be a spell. We don't want it to come into play off of uh, War Mother's Call, but there we go. Two and two. Life is so much easier when you find They Who Endure. So much easier. Yeah, they should not have done that early Shen. They should not have. That was their fault for doing the early Shen. That's that's what gave me those cards. All right, we're going with the Bailey here, and then we're gonna have Red Minion Guy. That with the change of the Guardian, but let's go with Bailey first. So we got one more game to do here with Endure Aggro. And... <laughs> If they did not do that early Shen GG, they didn't go with the early GG, we would not have drawn, we would not have hit Endure into draw atrocity for sure. All right, do I keep everything? Sure. 
Maybe we want to go sentry on two. Because it just hits harder. Because I'm planning on attacking. These old eyes still see far and clear. If they're out there, I'll spot them. Ready the torches. We'll have what Callista on three. Light the signal fires. Curse Keeper, kill the Warden's Prey on four. Not Curse, sorry, Blight Caretaker, kill the Warden's Prey on four. Winter take you. Really? The waste of an Ice Veil Archer. Whoa, what is this card? What is this? Seven mana, two two, they who endure. Huh, I haven't seen this card before. Not sure what that thing does. Yeah, I'll do this. I could just, you know, play the multiple two twos, especially how Cursed Keeper is such a good thing to kill with Blighted Caretaker. Just a lawnmower. Well, I guess that's a weed eater. That's just a just a weed eater. We, we shall yeah, that deck's good. Grow up so fast. They're down to five cards. I got six. So we're up a card, and we got a two-two in play. I need just a moment. Never mind. We're basically evened up. I have nothing good for them to challenge with that thing. Faster than my arrow? I think not. I don't know. Maybe. You can see the Demacian border from here. Show me a target. Swiftly now. For glory, face me. Look out for Reavers. Basically the question is if I'm sacrificing this caretaker or if I'm just sacrificing Curse Keeper. Yeah, I probably should have just passed. I think y'all are right. Probably should have just passed. Where are we at? Three out of five. Alright, we're gonna sacrifice this thing. Because I think my plan is. Alert the villains. Now, these Warden's Preys, we have so much card advantage. Does Wani on that thing have Curse Keeper Challenge? So if I would have sacrificed Curse Keeper, it would at least be a 4-3, so it would be even better to challenge. Sharpen the blades, secure the kill. He's gonna be so happy. It's definitely possible that was too cute. I don't know. Where are we at? Eight? These Blighted Caretaker would be my best draw. 
<clears throat> that is the card that I want more than any other. What does he want from me? I will unite the Freljord. You have never been strong enough. Hmm. Definitely playing Fury of the North. Bring me chaos. I should have glimpsed Keeper, maybe. That blips in the O1. Watch, lurk. You're mine. damage? Is that lethal? Dang it, I'm at 17. Yes, it is. So I can Fury and block Ash, but that's still 17. And I'm at 17. That deck is good. These wounds only make us stronger. So, I think, you know, I'm... Definitely points just throughout all all five of these games, um, especially the the first one against Deep, and especially that game right there, that I uh, regret how I sequenced, and mostly with Blighted Caretaker. With that game, I should basically both games I play care I played this card too early. I needed to wait later on uh, to play this card, and I needed to use it to kill curse keeper instead of killing warden spray early like i did to just kill like a, a two one or the kill the three one um you know kind of learning experiences there of, of just you don't just because we can caretaker on three and get good value out of caretaker doesn't mean we need to we could we could do other things um and uh i guess for me i guess that game i did it on turn four and so i should have played like Curse Keeper and Sentry on that turn four and waited. I guess it would have been turn six when I was caretaking later, but I, sh I should have waited to caretaker until used Curse Keeper because then I was just stuck with a bunch of Curse Keepers and playing in hand that just weren't doing anything. And then, yeah, with the Glimpse Beyond, I should have done the Glimpse Beyond on the Curse Keeper as well instead of the O1 that was going to die instead of on the, the caretaker at that point. So some, some sequencing mistakes of just not being as uh, familiar with the deck of how... Um, I kind of play all sorts of different decks and everything. I don't just stick with the one, and so sometimes I, I do some things like that that I that I regret and you know seeing how it plays out. That uh, I wish I would have sequenced that to better. So that, that hurt with two games, but it's a good good learning experience, and hope y'all learned that kind of stuff as well. Um, I did I did really like the one vengeance. I really liked that card. Sejuani was pretty good, but honestly, Sejuani's pretty slow. Maybe not three Sejuani. Maybe one or two of the Sejuani should be Elise. You know, I think I'd probably prefer like one Elise, two Sejuani, or two Elise, one Sejuani, than just having all Sejuani. But I did like having the Vengeance. Did like having that. I think I would at least play one, one of these over that. All right, there we go. That's Endure Aggro. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Uh, leave those comments. Hopefully y'all were learning as well. That's what it's all about. Um, and uh, that's, that's it here for this deck, though. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.